We don't call it alternatives. We say switching back to our old crops. Farida, if you could make three wishes for the next five to ten years regarding the fight against uh, big tobacco, what would it be? First thing will be to get tobacco out of our food crop fields. You know, we do not want uh, tobacco in the food crop fields. We want our government to support tobacco control in a much more stronger way and uh, that the general public is aware of the harmful effect of tobacco. You work with uh, Ubinik in Bangladesh. Uh, Ubinik is an abbreviation of a Bengali name. Um, what does Ubinik mean and what is your approach towards social processes of change? In English, Ubinik uh, means Policy Research for Development Alternative. And it was formed in '84. you know, with research on health works. And gradually we realized that health means everything. Health means society, health means food, uh, you know, lifestyle. So that's why we got engaged in ecological agriculture. We got engaged in, uh, to work against tobacco and uh, also a lot of things that we have been doing over time. Yes, Ubinik started with its Dhaka office in, uh, you said it, in 1984. Mm -hmm. And um, how has your work developed over time? Actually, from 84, you know, our main focus was research, but then we thought that research is not enough. You know, you write papers and nobody reads it, government does not know it, people don't know it. So we started working with the communities and we started working with the farmers. We have office, uh, we started office in Dhaka. But now we have offices in the rural areas and um, we are working directly with people. So that is a big change and uh, I think that is what is needed even if government does not change policy but people change their work. So that is uh, and we are involved in the mood movement, networking and also international networking. So since when tobacco has been cultivated in Bangladesh? It's very unfortunate that, uh, you know, Bangladesh being a very rich in fertile, fertile soil, this uh, British American tobacco company came in early 70s um, of the last century, you know, to offer farmers with a um, um, lot of hopes of uh, profit, cash profit. So mostly it came in the early 70s from one area in North Bengal, Rangpur, and then gradually when the soil started getting bad, they started moving to Kushtia and now they are in the hill tracks. So um, it's over 30 40 years of tobacco cultivation in Bangladesh. Mm -hmm. So, what are the reasons for the rapid extension of tobacco in Bangladesh and what induced farmers to switch to tobacco farming? Um, yeah. Actually, the company comes, you know, it is a company induced crop, it is not a farmer's mm -hmm. crop, that we have to see, you know. So company comes and then recruits the farmers with company card, you know, mm -hmm. what they do they offer cash credit before the season, you know, uh, so that, so farmers there are, you know, sometimes they have less money, you know, and at that time company comes and says that if you grow tobacco, I'm giving you advance money and uh, we will give you fertilizer, we will give you pesticide, we'll give you seed and we will purchase the tobacco leaves. So the marketing is guaranteed, input is guaranteed and some but what the farmers don't see that everything goes back to, you know, the company profit and also they are sick, they don't earn that much and then uh, they pay to the doctor. So 
uh, the reason I think it's very unfortunate that our Ministry of Agriculture or the Agriculture Department is not taking enough care of the farmers in terms of giving them the right input for food crops and other agricultural crops and also they don't take care of the marketing. So this becomes a small, big reason for uh, for company to take advantage of to for farmers to switch. So farmers automatically don't do it. It's company comes and take advantage of the situation. And what is the impact of tobacco farming on cultivation in Bangladesh? Uh, first of all, you know, tobacco cultivation has created a lot of food insecurity in the areas where it is grown because no more food crops are grown in that area. It has ca caused environmental problems because they cut the trees for curing of tobacco and then it, it is using child labor so the children cannot go to schools. Women are facing health problems and in general, you know, it, it is a People say that it is loss of peace in mind. Could you please tell us a bit about the gender aspect in tobacco farming? Women are involved as unpaid family labor in the tobacco farming, you know, so they are not even paid well, but they are involved in different stages of tobacco production and they are exposed to pesticides and especially when the tobacco leaves are cured, you know, uh, burned and they have to put on the uh, wood in the tin and then uh, 60 to 72 hours of no sleep at all. So they remain in tension, they are mentally uh, sick, they are always under tension. So, And a lot of reproductive health problems are happening. Many women are giving birth, um, miscarriages are happening, so health problems are there. So in which way farmers can be discouraged uh, from tobacco production? Farmers are already discouraged by themselves because they are losing and they are not happy with it. And um, they are always busy and they are just doing it for the company. But we have to offer alternatives. Or we don't call it alternatives. We say switching back to our old crops, going back to food crops. What they need is the seed and support for marketing and some inputs. That's all the farmers need. And it's very easy to do that. And government can do it, NGOs can do it, and we all should support it. So, Nakakrishi Andalan means literally a new agricultural movement. Um, and it's led by farming communities practicing biodiversity-based um, ec ecological agriculture. You stress the concept of culture very much. Um, what is behind the definition and the emphasis of cultural aspect in connection with biodiversity-based ecological agriculture? Why agriculture is cult a civilization, as you say? Agriculture, you know, the term agriculture has culture in it already, you know, and without culture, you know, our country is like majority of people are living on farming. And farming is not a technical thing. It's not like building, making, bringing big bulldozer uh, tractors and doing technical things. It's part of our life. So... We call it culture mainly, you know, also biodiversity is very another important part. So we eat uh, the crops which are grown in the season. We do not want to eat tomatoes in the summer. We will eat tomatoes when it is grown. So same thing with fruits and everything. So this allows the biodiversity and with that, you know, our lifestyle is also connected. Even our uh, social relations are connected. Our relationship with the weavers is connected. Our re relationship with the potters. So it's a great, you know, relationship and culture. So like now, it's winter time. Farmers will be harvesting rice. They will be singing the whole night. During the day, they will be cutting the rice. And at night, they will be singing because they are happy. They will be buying new clothes because they have money. 
and so they will be bringing and inviting guests uh, and you know the diversity of our rice we have in Nayakrishi Andalon we have collected over 3,000 3, varieties of almond rice and over 300,000 farmers are working with us and in these rice varieties all are not for just eating as a rice some are good for inviting guests like pulao some are good for making snacks some are good when your son-in-law comes in you know or eating with mangoes so it's very very related to the entire life of the community um, last question is what do you expect from the conference on wednesday here in berlin um, I, I think you know german people um, somehow you know we uh, feel that they supply pesticides or fertilizer uh, you know to us but the german people need to understand that there are we want to make a connection with the german people to say that they have to understand that tobacco farming is causing uh, harmful effects in our country when they are smoking a cigarette they should think that what harm it is causing to the people, children, women in other countries. And if that awareness is created, I will be happy.